Welcome into the DFS Den. It's Dave Eddie here, aka Corporal Eddie on Twitter. Welcome into week three. Let's get into defense and special teams and tight ends. We start with defense special teams. Cash this week, I'm looking at the New York Giants going up against the Cowboys. Pretty simple. It's a cheap D going up against a backup quarterback. They're not going to be as popular as the Bengals were last week, but I think that they're going to be this week's chalk play. For MME, pretty much anyone but those Giants are going to be in play. Um, you know, my thought is always, you know, moving up or down a couple hundred bucks from chalk is usually a good strategy. So a couple teams have stayed out for me. Lions going up against the Vikings. Jets going up against the Bengals. And the Raiders going up against the um, Tennessee Titans. So let's hop into tight end. In cash, again, you really got a couple options. Pay up or pay down. I don't think that there's much in between. Pay up option this week, Travis Kelsey. It's always a pay up option, so shouldn't surprise you there. But nobody else really stands out for me if you're going to pay up. So it's kind of either Travis Kelsey or a pay down. For me, the pay down is same guy as it was last week, Juwan Johnson. Um, he's really cheap. Uh, got five targets in week one, seven targets in week two. We're not asking a whole lot of a punt tight end. So you know, gosh, if that guy, if he can get us, you know, anywhere from five to 10 points, I think we're relatively happy in cash. Um, when we're talking MME, you know, back to Travis Kelsey, he's always in play for MME. Um, no reason, you know, ever to, to pretty much take him out of your pool, barring if he's healthy, he's always an option. Uh, Mark Andrews, he's $1,000 cheaper on DK, but that's going to come with a higher ownership percentage. So something to keep in mind there. He does lead tight ends in targets, and he's second in target share. So you know that the volume is going to be there. Darren Waller, another 1100 cheaper than Andrews. Um, 2.1K cheaper than Kelsey on DK, and going to have less ownership than both. So cheaper guy, um, less owned. Definitely makes him intriguing. However, you know, you think Darren Waller and you think, you know, more than ninth in targets through two weeks and you think higher than sixth in target share, but could be worth the risk this week. Uh, Kyle Pitts, DK is only 4.8, so very cheap. Um, you kind of have to, I kind of view him as a wide receiver. And so you kind of have to think of him and say, okay, if he was a wide receiver, let's say he's even the wide receiver two behind Drake London. With his upside, 4.8K kind of seems like a smash play. But he's only got 10 targets. He's only got two catches. I'm sorry, four catches in two games. So as much as, you know, we like Kyle Pitts and we love his upside, it is kind of, you know, after two weeks, a high-risk, high-reward kind of play. So that is something that you do gravitate towards in NME. But just know, you know, just know the risk there playing him right now. Um TJ Hawkinson, um, probably a bigger name than, you know, a DFS, you know, reliable player right now. Um, he is eighth in targets, so fifth in target share in all, all of tight ends. So, you know, he's seeing a decent amount of targets, but just been no explosiveness at all. He hasn't really done anything with those targets. You know, solid player, really good price, but I, I truly worry that just the upside for MME is not going to be there with him. Uh, we got Irv Smith. I think he's going to come in very popular this week because he is so cheap and he's going to be in a good scoring environment. That Detroit-Minnesota game could end up being the highest game, or highest scoring game on the slate. Dropped a wide open touchdown pass um, last week. It was like a 70 plus yarder. So had he caught that, you know, we're, it's a whole different ball game probably. Um, but still, he still put up five for 36 and a touchdown last week. So you add in that, you know, drop touchdown, you're talking six for 102. That'd be pretty, that'd have been a pretty massive score. Last guy we'll talk about, just the super cheap option. Talked about him in cash, Jawan Johnson. Like I said, super cheap, really good volume for the price tag. Um, you know, he really could pay off three or four X without even scoring a touchdown. And normally, you know, super cheap punt tight ends, you're basically hoping for a touchdown. Obviously, with Jawan Johnson, you're hoping for a touchdown as well, but if you don't get it, um, he can still make value for you theoretically. So that's what I'm thinking about defense and special ends or defense, special teams, and tight ends this week. If you haven't done so yet, I need you to pop over here. I need you to subscribe to that channel. 
Make sure you turn on notifications. I want you to get an alert every single time a new video comes out. We've got all sorts of fantasy football-related stuff coming out right now, so make sure you do that and drop a like on here. I will see you next time.